visit the link in the description below there you will find thousands of questions and answers and videos related to electrical and electronics engineering pure resistance in ac circuit first of all let's draw ac circuit with resistance r this is our ac supply this is ac supply with voltage v of t is equal to vm sin omega t where vm is the maximum voltage or amplitude omega is the angular frequency in radian per second and t is time in second and let's say this current is i of t is equal to i m sin omega t sin omega t where i m is the maximum current now if we draw voltage and current waveform for this so it will be first of all we will draw voltage waveform so voltage waveform amplitude will be bigger than amplitude of this current waveform so it will be like this let's say this is v of t is equal to vm sin omega t where this is the vm or amplitude or maximum voltage this is vm now if we want to draw this i of t so it will be in phase with this voltage waveform so it will be like this but it amplitude its amplitude will be smaller then this v of t so it will be like this and let's say this is im this is im and this waveform is i of t is equal to im sin omega t so this v of t and i of t are in phase so here we can write in phase or we can write v and i are in phase and the name of this figure or waveform is voltage and current waveform and the name of this figure is pure resistance in ac circuit so here we can write pure resistance in ac circuit now if we want to draw a phasor diagram so we have to take voltage as a reference that is this v will be the reference because here we can see both v and i are starting from this zero this is zero this is pi and this is 2 pi so and the amplitude of this v of t is greater than amplitude of i of t and i of t will be on the same arrow so this will be current i and this is voltage v and this is zero here the phase angle phi is zero here also we can see the phase difference is zero so here also we can write v and i are in phase and this is called as phasor diagram
देन इम्पिडेंस ऑफ प्योरली रेजिस्टिव सर्किट इम्पिडेंस ऑफ प्योरली रेजिस्टिव सर्किट सो इन रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म इम्पिडेंस इज गिवन बाय जेड इज इक्वल टू आर प्लस जे एक्स वेयर दिस आर इज द रेजिस्टिव पार्ट एंड दिस एक्स इज द रिएक्टिव पार्ट सो दिस इज इन रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म rectangular form where this r is the resistive part resistive part and this x is the reactive part reactive part and this j is equal to under root of minus 1 now here in this circuit there is no reactive part so we can substitute x is equal to 0 so this equation will be r plus j 0 the unit of impedance is ohm so here we can write z is equal to r now in polar form impedance z is equal to r at an angle phi here the r is magnitude of z and angle phi is phi this is the magnitude of z magnitude of z and this phi is the phase angle then here this magnitude of z is equal to r here we can say magnitude of z is only r here also in rectangular form z is equal to r at an angle phi the value of phase angle phi from phasor angle from phasor diagram here we can see phi is equal to 0 so therefore this phase angle will be 0 degree so z is equal to this so this is in polar form polar form again we will revise this so here we can see pure resistance in ac circuit so this is the resistance and this is the ac supply the voltage is v of t is equal to vm sin omega t where vm is the maximum voltage sin is the function omega is the angular frequency or angular speed in radian per second and this t is the time in second and for i of t this im is the maximum current or amplitude of current this circuit is called as pure resistance in ac circuit the voltage and current wave form will be like this the amplitude of voltage will be bigger than amplitude of current and both the voltage and current will be in phase so v and i are in phase then phasor diagram so for phasor diagram we have to take v as the reference because it is starting from zero and amplitude of voltage v is greater than the amplitude of current i and i will be on the same arrow but with smaller length because the length of this arrow represents magnitude or amplitude now here also v and i are in phase and angle phase angle phi is equal to zero so this is called as phasor diagram then next is impedance of purely resistive circuit so impedance is represented by z and z is equal to r plus jx 
where R is the resistive part and X is the reactive part and this J is equal to under root of minus 1. So this is in rectangular form. Now here this reactive part is 0. For this circuit the reactive part is 0. The unit of impedance is ohm. So therefore Z is equal to R ohm. Then in polar form Z is equal to R at an angle phi. This is the polar form. This R is equal to magnitude of Z at an angle phi. This phi is the phase angle. Now magnitude of Z is R and phase angle phi is 0. So therefore impedance Z is equal to R at an angle phi. R at an angle 0 degree and its unit will be ohm. So this is all about pure resistance in AC circuit. If you want all the notes of this video then visit the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.